What's up, YouTube friends? I'm Brian Hewitt of Hewitt Films, and today we are talking about the historic Syracuse Downtown Marriott. Now, this hotel was built in the 1930s, and it's a beautiful hotel. It used to be called the Hotel Syracuse, and now it's called the Marriott, Syracuse Downtown. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about a story that it's not actually a story, it's true. I worked there for four years, actually, and I was security there. And there were some personal experiences I've had at the hotel that I'm not going to get into because it's not really relevant to this uh, particular story I'm talking about. A lot of people have asked the question, is this hotel haunted? Because, I mean, when you do walk into this, I mean, the hotel, regardless, is beautiful. It's a beautiful hotel. When you walk in, you're just, you're just taken away by the beauty of how it's like it's like stepping back in time but it's modern you know what i mean it's just amazing the floors are all marble it's, it's just beautiful it's a beautiful place the staff is super friendly everyone is awesome that works there and it's just a fantastic place if you get a chance and you're in downtown syracuse check this hotel out you have to see it because you're just going to be amazed and blown away as i am again a lot of people have asked is it haunted because the place kind of looks like the overlook hotel in the Shining movie, it sort of reminds you of that. And when you walk in there, you, you, could, you could swear you could see Jack Nicholson with an ax running around the hotel. One day, I was walking through the ballroom. Now the ballroom is on the 11th floor. It's the biggest ballroom that the hotel has. And it's breathtaking, to say the least. But there was rumors of a woman, a ghost in white, that had been seen dancing in the ballroom. Now, I didn't see that personally myself, but one day I was walking up on the 11th floor and I ran into this woman and she said, do you work here? And I said, yes, I'm security here. And she said, is this place haunted? So I said, I heard rumors, but I don't know. And then she goes, well, I was up here last night in the ballroom and I was taking pictures in the dark. And this is what I came up with. So I looked at it and I was just blown away, but I was just like taken back by this photo. So could she have faked it? Sure, if she used Photoshop and she took a picture of someone, and they, of course you can fake something like that. Anyone can fake a ghost picture. But since I was security there, I had one of the security people look up on that night to see who was up in that ballroom that night. Now there isn't a camera in the ballroom. There's a camera outside the ballroom. But you can't get in the ballroom unless you go through this area. So I check out the pictures, we look through the video, and we see the woman who talked to me about the ghost, and I see her daughter, and another person she was with. This is that picture. If you notice, nobody's wearing white. And nobody has like that long, dark brown hair that it looks like in the picture. Now I'm gonna show you the ghost picture again. Check it out. I don't know about you guys, but like I said, we ran back that footage and the only people up there that night were those three people. No woman in white came through that area. So was it a ghost? I don't know. Have you had any experiences at this hotel? I'd like to know in the comments down below. If you've had any experiences or anything like that at the Syracuse Downtown Marriott, if you have, I want to hear about you. I want to hear about that incident. I'm Brian Hewitt of Hewitt Films. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to Hewitt Films. Thank you.